Tonight on the show, one of the new stars of Top Gear. Now, Matt, I've brought along my new Porsche 918 Spider. What do you think? Ooh, very nice. Yeah. Tell you, why don't you take it for a ride? See how it feels. Yeah. yeah. Get behind the wheel. Do it. Do it. Go on. Go on. Go on. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Some great guests for you tonight. Yes, Matt LeBlanc's here from the new revamped Top Gear. Yeah, very excited about that. I'm told you can look forward to uh, you know seeing all your favorite bits from the old Top Gear. Well, except from the casual racism and assaulting the producers that <laughs> have binned that. Uh, we've also got one of the biggest stars of the hit Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. Few throners in. She's not one. She was like, "What? What's he talking about?" <laughs> <laughs> Plus, later we'll have music from the wonderful Corin Bailey Ray. Yeah, we love her. She's very good. All right, let's get some guests on. First up, this man's breakout role in the History Boys took him to the West End to the big screen, where he starred in Mamma Mia, The Need for Speed, and now the epic Warcraft: The Beginning. It is Dominic Cooper. There's Dominic Cooper. Yeah, good, good. Just there. Just, just, just on it. This British actress has starred in a range of films from Much Ado About Nothing to Pearl Harbor and is the ass kicking heroine of the Underworld franchise. Now she's here with a new Jane Austen adaptation, Love and Friendship. It's Kate Beckinsale! Oh! Wow! Oh! Like a princess. Hello, darling. What are you doing? It's been a very long time. This actress has enjoyed worldwide fame as Khaleesi in the hit TV series Game of Thrones. Now she's back at the big screen in the new romantic weepy Me Before You, Sweet Mother of Dragons, it's Amelia Clark! Oh! in love with this man as Joey from Fred's, after which he won a Golden Globe for his hilarious portrayal of himself in episodes. Now he's revving up to be the new presenter of Top Gear. Please welcome back to the show, Matt LeBlanc! <laughs> City down, city down. You can, I think you can all shove up a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, in the favorite game of two halves. Okay. Yeah, try your poor Dominic. You I'm hitting the, the dangly bit. I'm hitting the dangly bit. Then. Oh, yeah. Don't there do you that. Know what to do with that. <laughs> very good, very good. You look like you've just been to a showbiz <laughs> funeral. We were just. Uh, <laughs> We feel desperately ill. <laughs> yeah, we didn't feel like now, uh, Amelia Clark, did you get to yes. chat with everyone backstage? Um, yeah, kind of. Did you get to talk to him? Yeah, kind of, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Amelia Clark loves Matt LeBlanc. Hi. 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 <laughs> I'm actually blushing. Um, yeah, I just think you're wicked. <laughs> It's a game of two halves. Uh, I, I, I think Dominic's wicked. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. baby yes. in the corner. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, now, is it your daughter? I'm sure you like Matt LeBong too, Kate. Hugely. But your, your daughter is quite the fan. Huge fan. She's a big friends obsessive. Mm -hmm. She could go and master. Are you? Yes. Oh, we should have a <laughs> Dominic, do you have a relative, a friend who's a fan of Matt's? Oh, many, 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 many. <laughs> I mean, All I think right. my mum would pass out now if she knew I was sitting here with you. And I'm obsessed with the new job you've got, which I really, really wanted. Oh. oh yeah. I shouldn't have said that out loud, should I? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the best job in the world. Working in the coffee shop, the one in... Yeah. <laughs> the new one. The top it's gear. Fun. And uh, are you returning the favour? Do you watch Game of Thrones, Matt? I watched it the first season, and then I kind of fell out of it, and I tried to watch it this that's season. Okay, that's okay. And I don't know that's what's okay. going on. I can't keep up. I feel There's so lots bad. of stuff going on. There's so yeah. much going on. There is. There really is. <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> it's all I right. Mean, I, 
I could lie, but I don't want to lie. I'm a no, guy. no, no, no. You've seen the good. You've seen the good bits. You've seen the first season. <laughs> no, I, it's tough. Is it all downhill from there? No, <laughs> but this, what is it? It's season six now. It's season six. And it's bigger than ever. Yeah. Whose laugh is that? <laughs> Seriously, sounds like a chicken has been released into the studio. They can't be. No. That, I, I thought it was going to stop because I thought there was a mechanical fault with something. <laughs> but that's a human being. <laughs> oh, it's that man there. All oh, right. Well, I'm glad you're having Lovely. a nice time. <laughs> Yuck it up! I will. <laughs> I will. I, will. I, will no, watch, so, I promise. I know. No, I know. I do have one slight request from you, though. What's oh. that? Um, so, would you would you be able to ask me how I'm doing? Oh yes, do that. <laughs> oh. you, you can say no. Everyone will hate you, but you can say no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. Uh, well, since I, you know, haven't been up on, up to speed on the show, well, yes. I will say. Thank um, you. Yeah, how are you doing? <gasps> yeah. <laughs> It was. What was really embarrassing <laughs> is when Matt walked out, I went, How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, Oh, shut up. What are you doing? <laughs> but now, I don't want to depress Kate Beckinsale, oh. but you know, the last time we sat and chatted on a show, that was 15 years ago. That's a long time. Isn't it, though? Was it the show that you had where you sometimes have someone phone up and play the recorder with that, their vagina? Yeah, that kind of I thing. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, Did you bring that back? But was it something I said because... <laughs> what? I know, I'm confused. I'm confused. Yeah, you Game of Thrones born, is missing a trick there. <laughs> oh, I was. That was a lovely idea. Yeah, but then you went to America right after that and never came back, really, did no, you? No, I did. I did come back a bit, but I did get stranded there because my daughter's in school there, so I'm sort of having to see that out until she finishes and I can leave. Now, yeah. and here's the thing. You look at Kate Beckstone, you kind of think, you know, a model of sophisticated woman. You know, I imagine you're just travelling with a, you know, small little hold all. Uh -huh. But you travel with something... and. Like, I didn't believe this, but I now do believe it. You travel with something, and is it to cheer you up you travel with this item? Yes. Okay, tell the people what you travel with. A pantomime horse costume. <laughs> now, she's not making this up. You've said this, but you actually... Tra so, this Me too. Now, <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Travel, is it both hard? Yes, yeah. it's a two-man, it's a two-man suit. Do you find a friend? You always yes, have to find you a have friend. Yes, you can't do it on your own, that's bleak. <laughs> On what occasions do you kind of go, OK, time for the horse? Well, I mean, if you're on a film and you're, like, in Eastern Europe and you thought your friend was going to come and visit you and they're like, oh, sorry, I can't, my kid's got tonsillitis, or whatever it is, and you think, shit, what am I going to do? I could have a pop into the horse and a bit of a canter up and down the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> Which end do you prefer? Well, it's height dependent. There's horse rules. Yeah. So the tallest... <laughs> no, there are. Even. Uh, you, the tallest person has to be the back. So oh, we can have the a... other way around. Well, no. Oh. Um, no, because then you can have a long horse's back. Of course. Oh, back. It, won't, it won't look stunted. Oh, yeah, you yes. don't want a lumpy, short no, person in the back. <laughs> No. And now you've sent us some pictures. Is this your earliest horse? That was my first horse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, but that was a rental. That was my first time I ever rented one. You paid for that? Yes. <laughs> it, it looks like you've made it out of some car seat covers. Yes. Well, they're not very realistic. <laughs> they're, not, they're not the most realistic. But yes, now I paid for that. And you had to have it for three days. It was a bit oppressive. We had to keep getting in it. <laughs> and that, so then, then did you purchase this next one? No, that was also a rental. That's my daughter looking terrified. Look, is that... <laughs> And is mommy front or back of that horse? I think that's back. You're back. I think I'm yeah. back. Are they there. good fun to be in? Oh, I've got one. I've got it in the hotel. We must have a go. Do you want to? <laughs> yes, I <you've> got it. <laughs> I have actually got it here. And I think we've then got your latest. Is this the one you brought with no, you? No, that's actually me and Michael Sheen. He's in the rabbit suit. I can't remember why we were doing that at a bus stop, but <laughs> or, or indeed anywhere. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds so crazy. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks it's crazy? I, I love it. It's crazy. Are you a crazy person? Yeah, I want to get in it. Yeah. I can make that happen. Let's, let's go. <laughs> no, I have to say, you're so smiley. And I, you do look like an ad for panto horse therapy. You know, it's like it does feeling really blue. Work. It does really work. The point is, most people haven't tried it, so they don't know. Yeah, you know. but if you're I at your hotel, it. walking down the hall, and you see a, a horse <laughs> coffee right. coming the other way, in what world do you just say, I bet that's Kate Becker's? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. uh, Matt LeBlanc, Matt LeBlanc, it, presumably it, you, hosting Top Gear is like your dream job. Yeah, it's kind of like this 
it's uh, a lot bigger than I thought it was. You know, when I, when I first did the show, it was fun, and then now being a part of it, I mean, it is a, just an international juggernaut of a show. It's But massive. it's showed in, what, 170 territories or countries or something? I don't know. Yeah, it's so everywhere. it premieres this Sunday, and by Wednesday, it'll be in 83 countries on six continents already. By Wednesday. Wow. It's, it's just huge. And, and like, how did this happen? Did you call them? Did they call you? Did you bump into someone in a lift? How, how does it happen? <laughs> uh, well, I did, I did it the first time to promote episodes and did the around the track in the car, and that went pretty good. Well, you were the fastest ever, aren't you? Are you yeah. still the fastest ever? Wow. Yeah. No. <laughs> and then um, they did this thing called Top Gear The Races, which was kind of like a greatest hits of Top Gear, and I kind of introduced the clips, shot these little video wraparounds, and that went good. And then Chris was already on board at that point, and they approached me and asked if I would uh, like to be a part of it, and I wasn't doing anything else. I said, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's been a lot of fun. Chris and I get along good, and it's really fun. Yeah, and you are a proper petrol head. I mean, you do love cars and engines and all that stuff. Yeah, you know, it's funny, like, I've, I'm one of those people I subscribe to like about 15 different car magazines. You go to my house on the coffee table, just stacked up with forever. I've been doing that. And someone just said to me the other day, finally it's paying off. All those <laughs> <laughs> you, Who knew? Yeah, you were preparing for this job your whole yeah, life. I'm, I'm, and the I'm first episode, I, part of it is a kind of Britain versus America challenge. Yes, that's right. Yeah. So what, what's the challenge? Okay, so do you know the Reliant Robin? Remember that car? Oh, that oh, oh there they are. Yeah, well, these are Reliant Rialtos, the upgraded one, which <laughs> I don't know what they changed. It's still a, not a very nice car. I've never heard of a Rialto. Anyone? The, no. the Reliant Robin you've heard of. Yeah, Robin, yeah. It was yeah. made famous by Only Fools and Horses, yeah. really, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was yeah he did a little van, didn't he? Yeah. No, we had one... One of those, didn't he? But it was a van back. A van version. What do they have? Oh, they've got yeah. an open roof. Oh, well, they've cut the roofs oh, off nice. of this because it was going to be raining, so they figured it better to have no roof. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's Britain. <laughs> so we have to drive from London to Blackpool in those. Nice. <laughs> and my, mine broke down about ten times. <laughs> <laughs> the worst one. And I think Chris had it fixed because it's USA versus the UK, and we're in English cars. His is painted like the Union Jack. Mine stars and stripes, and mine breaks down repeatedly. His ran like a clock. <laughs> <laughs> Go figure. And, had Matt LeBlanc ever been to Blackpool before? No, he hadn't. <laughs> <laughs> Will Matt LeBlanc be returning? Uh, he might. <laughs> <laughs> No, it was, you know, we actually had a really good time. And then you went back to uh, my neck of the woods. You yeah. were in uh, Southern Ireland, West Cork and uh, yeah, Kerry. Yeah, uh, the Ring of Kerry yeah. and uh, Dingle and uh, Killarney and all that. We did a thing with uh, Rolls Royce over there. Well, that was really fun. Wow. And now, was this woman, was she just taking a picture and you literally drove by? <laughs> <laughs> she was with her girlfriend and they were on their way to the, the, her hen -do, you call it? Like oh, a, yeah, hen -do, a bachelorette yeah. party, yeah. we call it in the States. And we were driving up the road, it was me and the new Rolls-Royce uh, Dawn, the convertible, and Chris Evans was in his Rolls-Royce Corniche from 76. And there was a comparison, old and new. And we are kind of at a red light, and I think it was in Dingle. <laughs> they walk in there and they come over, hey, and they just took a selfie. <laughs> and I think she put it on Twitter or something, social media, whatever it was. You look genuinely happy. <laughs> a she had a very short skirt. <laughs> I must be honest. <laughs> yeah. you, look, you look suspiciously happy. Yeah. <laughs> More of a belt than a skirt. <laughs> it was her head do. It was her head do. Yeah, right. uh, listen, the new season of Top Gear begins this Sunday on BBC Two at 8 o'clock. Uh, let's have a little taste. This is you in Morocco trying out a thing called an Aerial Nomad. Is that what it's called? Yeah, there's a British company called Aerial that made a very famous car called the Atom. A really fast, quick, small car. And now this is their off-road version of it, the Nomad, which was a blast to drive. Do we wow. see this? Yeah. Thing? This thing hauls ass. Zero to sixty takes just three point four seconds. And unless your other car is a superbike or a Cheeto with a saddle on it, that ought to be enough. This is not off-roading. This is low-level flight. Wow. Pretty fun. Pretty fun. It's a pretty fun job, I gotta say. Yeah, it's cool. Well, it's just a hundred things, but it's light. Really light. Now, Amelia Clark. Amelia Clark yes. brings to the screen a really one of the. It's one of the most successful romantic novels of recent times. It was a huge, huge hit. Uh, yes. Me Before You by yes. Jojo Mays. Moyes. 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 Yes. And it opened.